Welcome to the Profit Spy product scraper inventory video tutorial. I'm going to quickly go over the Amazon category that we scraped earlier in the previous video. If you haven't checked that out now, please do so. So let's get started. So over here we have the filter, search by product name. Um, so if you want to list a particular product for some odd reason, then you have the ability to do so here. So just to give you an example, you can type in Hamilton. Maybe I just wanted to list Hamilton products. You submit query. And now we're only looking see, at Hamilton products. Got quite a few of them here. All right. Just delete that, submit query again, and you'll have all the products listed so far. Next, let's go over to the product tick boxes here. Now this is a very important feature as you only want to have the products that you plan on listing within your eBay account here within your profits by inventory. You essentially want to get rid of all the garbage that doesn't meet your profit margin criteria that you're not going to list. Get rid of that by clicking on the remove checked button here and then again keeping the items that you do plan on listing. So what I typically do is click the select all button and I set myself a profit margin criteria usually for myself personally I will look for anything with a profit margin that's going to make me above four dollars and fifty cents okay so for this right here I would leave this ticked because it does not meet that criteria this does so I'm going to untick it this does not it's going to stay this does not this does this does this definitely does and then keep on going from there okay then once you're done again you're gonna remove uh, click on the remove checked button here and clear all the products that you do not plan on listing next we'll be covering a very very important aspect to this whole arbitrage process and that is the product details now you, you'll see here you have the product title and you can click on any one of these links to go to the actual Amazon product details or eBay product details okay now let me tell you how I utilize this information now when initially scanning through these products okay I typically look for a profit margin of above four dollars alright that to me is worth listing um, a product on my eBay account if I see any item that has a profit margin of above say twelve dollars then that's something that I want to investigate into a bit more detail so let me show you an example here it's KitchenAid item right here we have a profit margin of fifty dollars it's very rare that you come across something that has such a large profit margin gap so what we want to do is we want to investigate this even further by clicking on both these links here now as you can see this is indeed around hundred ninety dollars KitchenAid K45 SSOB and if you look at it K45 SSOB it's the exact same product so that's good now this price right here is not the price that it was sold for this is actually the price that it's being sold for at the moment right now now if you want to look at the price that it, it has actually sold for in the past this is the link that you always want to check out when you're investigating the products further so let's click on that and you'll see right there two hundred and ten dollars on October 12th it was sold all right so the seller decided to increase their price after this one sold so it's up to you. You may be able to get away with selling it for $275 and make a profit off of it, especially during the holiday season. However, um, according to the stats here, um, it has not sold for $275, so it has not made a $50 profit. The profit right here would be probably more close to, closer to around $5 to $6, $7 which again may be worth it for you to list either way now let's go back to profit spy and then we'll move on down the line here and look for other see this one right here twelve dollars and forty three cents this is something that we want to investigate that's match 
Let's check in, see if this is matching up. It is. So let's click on the Amazon link and eBay. Okay, that looks fine. And it did indeed sell for $69.73 because you do not see the sold link right here. When you do not see the sold link, that means that the seller actually had one quantity, a quantity of one for this item here. So it did indeed sell for around $70. So this profit margin is accurate and you want to keep this within your inventory. So again, you would just uh, go through this process. Again, you got a $16 product. You would want to check out um, the details of this product and see if indeed you are getting a profit margin or would be getting a profit margin of $16.19, okay? So again, just to reiterate it one more time, make sure that you're checking over the profit margins. And if they're uh, above, say, $10, $11, or $12, then you want to investigate the product further like I just showed you. Now one of the first things that you need to look at when viewing over your listings are the images. Obviously that's the first thing that's going to stick out to you. So just make sure that the images are matching up. This is pretty self-explanatory stuff. And as you can see at seven words matching almost all of them are matching up which saves you a huge amount of time. Now all these columns right here again are pretty self-explanatory. You have the profit percentage here. This means that this item is at a 15.57% profit margin between the Amazon and eBay product. Here's the profit margin. Here's the actual income that you'll make if you were to sell at the Amazon listed price. Here's the Amazon price that is listed. Uh, this is including shipping fees and whatever other fees that is calculated within the price. Here's the eBay price uh, minus the PayPal fee and eBay final value fee uh, and uh, any shipping fees. But as you can quickly see here, the shipping is free, which again is listed for all of these. Okay. If there was a shipping price, it would state the shipping price right here within the parentheses. Next, we have the eBay end date column right here. Uh, you'll see that this item was sold last on 11-2 of 2015. Okay, so November 2nd. Today is uh, November 10th. So this was only sold eight days ago. If this right profit margin fits your criteria, then this would be a great item to sell. As you know, it would maybe only take a week or two um, to sell from your eBay account. This one right here is perfect. This was actually sold today. For a profit margin of eight dollars and twenty-seven cents, so this would be an ideal product to list within your eBay account. And you would just go through each one. Um, this will pull all eBay items that have been sold within a thirty-day period. So if you go through here and you see some really old items that are around that thirty-day period, well, that's basically telling you that that item may take a month or more to sell so it's up to you if you want to sit on it if the profit margin is worth the wait go ahead and sell it next column is the Amazon reviews column um, I quickly scan over this I don't place too much relevance or importance on uh, this column here but this will let you know how popular the item is or how long it's been selling for so um, I just quickly scan over this and make sure that we have some popular items which Looks like we have a lot of popular items here or items that have been sold for a very long time on Amazon. Now this very important actions column here is where you update the Amazon price, which is located here. So by clicking on this button, it'll allow you to update the price per each individual product. Or you could go back to the uh, dashboard and update all items within your Amazon category. Now two notes that you may want to try to remember here. First of all, you do want to make sure that you're updating your inventory here um, every few days if you're listing these items on your eBay account just to make sure that your eBay price corresponds to the Amazon price that you're using as a drop shipper. Okay? That way you're not losing any money or losing any profits. 
And the second note would be that you cannot update any of these prices while a current scraper is running. So you have to wait until this is finished or actually go back here and stop the scraper from running before you can run an update. So again, make sure that you're only updating this um, when the scraper is uh, completely stopped. In this case, I believe this Amazon category is still active in scraping from the last video. Okay, on 29, results 36, all right. So if I wanted to update, I would just need to stop this or wait until this is finished, all right. So that concludes our product inventory scraper tutorial. Um, the next video tutorial will cover the Amazon pricing updates feature, which I just covered. So I'll check you out in the next video. Take care.